Hi and welcome to our RHCSA course, Red Hat Linux. This is Muhammad Khalid, and we will go through the RHCSA introduction lecture. Our lecture contains three parts, part one, the introduction, and part two, the history, part three, why to use Linux. So the Linux began in September 1991 with a Finnish student called Linux Trouble. But before the Linux, what it was? Before the Linux, in the 1980s, Microsoft DOS was, was the most used operating system for the PCs. Apple Mac was better than the DOS of the Microsoft, but much expensive. Unix was much better, but exp very, very uh, expensive. People was looking for the Unix-based operating system, which is cheaper and they could run on PC but they didn't find any operating system to do so. And the modification of the Mac or the DOS operating system without paying a high license fees is not possible. So um, the, the, the founder of the Linux is Linus Torvald. Linus Torvald, while attending the University of Helsinki in Finland, he was curious about an operating system to use over the PCs. He began his work with his own operating system, which has become the Linux kernel. Torvald made the code of Linux freely available to anyone over the uh, internet, so lots of people could create their own versions of Linux. So the timeline of Linux was invented the version 0.1, it was invented in 1992, then Slackware 1993, Debian introduced, Suzy Linux, Virgin 1, Red Hat and Virgin 2, Nobex, Gen 2, Arc, Fedora, CentOS, Oracle, Android, Alpen, Ubuntu, Musics, and a lot, a lot of versions, a lot of distribution of Linux that is based on the Torvald operating system. So type of softwares, the distribution of the Linux. Number one distribution of the Linux is the Red Hat Linux or Red Hat Enterprise Linux server. One of the original distribution of the Linux, it's commercial, it's non-free version, the Red Hat Enterprise Linux. But you could download it and use it freely. But if you want a support or a hotfix for the for the bugs that you find, you, you must pay a subscription. It's not a license, it's a subscription for hotfixes and support. But there is a free version, CentOS and Fedora. Fedora is the project that is used for developing a new version of Red Hat Enterprise Linux. So number two, or the famous one, is Debian Genui. It's a free software distribution, popular for server, and many people think that it's, it's uh, not for this for beginners. No, it's it's designed for with ease of use. And the Suzy Linux, Suzy was recently purchased by Novel Company. It's a Germany, uh, it's a German company. The distribution of the of the Suzy uh, Enterprise Linux server is paid because it's contain many commercial. Program, programs, but it has the open SUSE, the free version, you could download it. Notice that all the versions of Linux is freely to download, but the support and hotfixes is not available and you must pay for it. So why to use the Linux? Why not to use the Mac? Why not to use the Windows? We have a different reasons. Number one. Linux, when you want to start or to install a Linux, it's installed on your machine with a low resource requirement. And you don't, you don't need to spend the time and money to obtain licensing. Linux does not need to update it periodically so it's, uh, the server or the desktop must be uh, rebooted to maintain the performance level and the Linux provides a very high performance on workstations and over the networks. One of the reasons that the companies use uh, Linux as an operating system over the servers is the security of the operating system. 
So they have a concept of the walls and the flexible file access permission system prevent access by unwanted unwanted visitor on or viruses. To be more precise, Linux had a firewall, which is the the wall of the security, and had the security enhanced Linux. So it's called SE Linux. Uh, it's the seven layer. Uh, it's called the seven layer of, of security that prevents the system service from interacting without having the appropriate permission. We will go through these cons in our course.